Hi everyone, this is Carol Ann with Logan's Crafty Mama. Look what I got in the mail yesterday. I'm so super excited. This is my new favorite Cricut cartridge. And I know you see a lot of cards made with this one, but it's so easy to put together. The cutest, cutest little critter, critters in there. So I'm going to show you how to make a card. I'm going to show you another thing also. My husband bought this for me a couple of weeks ago. And um, he shipped it last week to me and I got it yesterday. So I didn't feel like making anything yesterday. So I opened it up today and I had been making rats and sheeps and all kinds of stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do a card that looks like this. Isn't that the cutest thing? The little love bug. But I want to show you something. Um, somebody asked me what flocking was. And if you look at this sheep, let me see if I can zoom in. And I'm going to put this on a red background so you can see this. See that? It's just a plain sheep. I took some flocking, which looks like that, and I added it to this sheep. Can you see that? It looks like it's really furry right there. I love the way it turned out. This is my card I made, in case you're wondering. My bow is crooked. But I can fix that. But anyway, I'm going to add something over there, so... But I just wanted to show you that. That's the difference. You can see it. So zoom in so you can see this. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is attach the face to my love bug. Let me go ahead and tell you, since I did it and wasn't, I didn't know. Do not put any kind of adhesive down here on her wings. Because they're not going to, um, they're going to be hanging off. So, don't do that. And I was just fixing to do it again. I just add extra adhesive just to the parts that my tape gun won't go. And then just attach it to your love bug. I have seen so many cute cards made with this thing that my husband wasn't going to send it to me. He was going to wait, I think, until he come and visit in June. The end of June at that. And I called him and I was like, um, I have seen way too many Cricut cartridges made. I mean, way too many cards made with that Cricut cartridge. So, can you be a doll and mail it to me? <laughs> so he did. Which I'm super excited. Because I love it. And the good thing about this one is, and this is from what I found out. As far as I know, and I've only made the sheep, this one, and um, the rat. My mom wanted a rat cut out, so I cut out a rat for her. But those are the only ones I've made so far. And I'm finding out that there's only three layers, and they are easy layers. That's one reason this is my favorite cartridge, because I'm not um, dissing them or anything, but like I have the Disney cartridges, a few of them that have the Mickey Mouse cartridges. There's my bug. And um they are they're hard to layer. And if you go way small with them, ugh, the harder it is. So it's nice to know that it can be done in a few layers. This is the I Love You. This did not come with the love bug one. This one what did this come on? I think this came on the koala bear one think. It's still on the same cartridge, but I think it was just on the koala bear. So, okay, so there's my two things put together, so I'm going to set them aside. Okay, I have my card base here. I wish you could see my desk. Well, I'm kind of glad you can't, because it's a mess. I'm just going to fold my card base. These are the ones that I purchased at the store. This is a five and a half by four. So I went ahead and cut a black piece of paper and I cut it at five and a half by four because I want it to line up exactly over the, um, the card base. I attached that using my ATG tape and now I'm going to attach this if I can figure out how to do it without angling the camera. And if you do this, And then what I'm going to do is I cut out the red, and I just do it in quarter increments. So, I did that at five and a quarter maybe? I don't remember. 
Okay, and then all I'm going to do is take my punch that I have here, if I can find the reason it ain't lining up on me. Hope I'm not in the frame here. If I am, I'm sorry. Okay, and that's all I do. And this is the EK Success Punch. Um, I don't know if that's bubbles or what. It kind of reminds me of um, cheese, you know, uh, Swiss cheese. But I thought it would be super cute with the the um, spots on the love on the bug. And then I'm just going to take some basic black ribbon and attach that to this part. I'm going to run some adhesive down the back of my tape because I'm not. A, I'm going to run some adhesive down the back of my ribbon because I'm not going to make a bow. I'm going to line this up with my line, my grid paper here. I'm going to pull my ribbon as tight as I can pull it because I found out that if you don't pull it, it's going to be wavy, and I don't like that look at all. Connect those. You can do the cheater method and just tape it. That's fine. But, ah! Which I'm going to have to do right there. Let me do that really quick. Add some tape there. Sometimes it, it sticks and sometimes it doesn't. Okay. Go ahead and run some adhesive all over the back of the card. Um, just in case you're you don't know this don't run adhesive over the back of there because it will show through the card then attach this to where it's kind of centered like that there's your card base then add some dimensionals hmm. there they are to the back of your creature here Go ahead and pull those off. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take my I love you and kind of crook it. I'm going to say this word and y'all probably going to laugh at me. But here in my house we say cattywampus. So I'm going to cattywampus it. And I'm going to cattywampus my love bug so it looks like she's flying. Like that. I'm going to run some adhesive over the back of my I love you. This would make a super... um. Valentine's card. Sorry, it's really windy here and it sounded like it was raining again. And then, like I said, cattywampus that into there. And then all I'm going to do is take some gems that I got at um, in the Target dollar bin and I'm going to put one there. I'm going to mix this one up and actually put a pink one in there. The last one I did, I pulled the Silver out. Oh, that's crooked. There you go. So there's one with the pink gem and one with the silver gem. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching. Bye.